All right, the last of our troops returned from Afghanistan last night, and now we catch up with Lieutenant Colonel Bill Keelan. He retells the stories of his Anzac, uh, Anzac ancestors to reporter Kane Peters as we pay homage to all those who have fallen in battle. My grandfather, my great grandfather, and also a lot of great uncles uh, served uh, in, the, in the New Zealand Army from, from the First World War forward. Papa Tall didn't really talk about the war. In terms of his experiences, I didn't spend too much time with him because he, he passed away when I was three. But uh, her, talking to my father, um, he was quite a focused guy, quite disciplined. Um, my father believes the, the war had quite a, a large effect on him. Although he didn't know his great-grandfather Claude Keelan well, Lieutenant Colonel Keelan did grow up knowing his granddad Murray Bobette, who served in World War II in the C Company of the 28th Māori Battalion. Yeah, a real interesting bloke, um, uh, my granddad, and you know, I had a lot of uh, interaction with him, and I thought he was, he was a hard bugger. He wasn't even old enough to join, um, and he, uh, he joined up at about 16, I think and went off to war. 16th June 1940, Gurok, Scotland. The Māori Battalion arrive in the United Kingdom keen to protect its shores from the Nazi threat. They come back from patrol uh, into a listening post or a sentry post, um, but they're cold and they're wet. So they, they change their socks, which is something that I would imagine doing, because, you know, wet socks, no one likes wet socks. Unfortunately, they fall asleep, and the Germans basically capture them. Um, and one of his friends uh, is killed by the Germans and then they're taken prisoner. Uh, but then a number of other things happen um, and he manages to escape. In terms of what my grandfather and great-grandfather went through, um, I have not been through the threat to life, the um, situations they would have seen and had to deal with on a daily basis. Um, and that's just because of where I've been deployed. Lieutenant Colonel Keelan became commanding officer of the 1st Battalion after serving 10 months in Afghanistan. I've served in places where there's been threat to life and limb, um, and I've had to react to, to those situations. Before they put you in that sort of situation, you're trained to uh, react correctly to it. It's been 18 years I've been in the army. Um, started off right down at the, at the lowest level uh, and then went through all of the training and experiences that um, you know, you need before you're then given the responsibility to leave, lead a battalion. Ready? Yep, let's go. He commands a battalion of more than 270 soldiers well, and ensures his troops are always ready to serve whenever duty calls. Oh, My job here is to train soldiers so they can serve our country if required. Do you think any of your children will join the army? Don't know. Do you hope they do? Oh, I, I just hope they're successful in whatever they do, you know. Um, you know, I don't, you don't need to be successful. You don't need to be in the army to be successful, you know. Um, if it's something that excites them and something they, they want to be good at, then that's fine. And of course, the day we remember is this coming Thursday, April 25th, uh, Anzac Day. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned.